Oh, we got some people coming on here. Where's Winston at? Oh, here they come. Oh, man, the love is coming in. What's going on, guys? So, guys, we're going to wait a little bit longer here. We're going to let some people keep hopping on. Oh, man, we got some love coming in. Winston just texted me. He should be on here in a minute. He's, on, he's in an Uber on his way home. Any minute. Give a few more minutes here, guys. We got some exciting stuff here tonight. I got my box here from the house. Hey, I was fashionably late. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, Ryan. <laughs> oh, man. McGregor's. I could use a McGregor. Where's JC at? Get the McGregor's. Oh, man. Keep it coming. Keep the love coming. <laughs> oh. It says I'm really pixelated. That's too bad. Winston, where are you? He's always so busy. I don't know what he thinks he's doing not hanging out with me or talking to me. Uh, about to tweet, where's Brad and Chad? Well, we're here. We're here, baby. Carrie Kempthor, shout out. What's up, girl? Level six. Beep, beep, beep. Such a Chad move. Chad's such a Chad. <laughs> yeah, Winston's in the woods doing God knows what. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. We got a lot of people here. 2,500. Just shy of... Oh, there we go. We're getting some more here. Oh, please shout out. I can't even read that. That's a really long name. Man, these, all these Brent comments, you're really breaking my heart here. Oh, man. Where is Chad? What is Chad always doing all the time? What is he always doing? What, what does he do when I'm not around? I don't know. It's not anything worth anything. What's my favorite vegetable? Honestly, I don't really like vegetables. <laughs> uh, what does that say? Um, come to Long Island. Love you guys. Level six. Shout out. Landon Dasman. God, Chad, get on here. Where are you? P.O. Box. I am working on the P.O. Box, guys. That is coming soon. I've been a little busy. <laughs> uh, shout out to Nick, please. What's up, Nick? Shout out, homie. Come to Baton Rouge for the Bama game. I don't know if I can survive another SEC football game. This weekend was kind of crazy. Ah, uh, where is Chad all the time? He's killing me. I'm about to get started without Chad. You guys let me know what you think. I'm going to start opening up my box here from the house. Seems like we got a lot of people here. We got a good following. Come to Miami. Miami's going to be happening soon. Shout out, Amanda. You're awesome. Roll Tide. Love that. Brad, I'm in the house. <laughs> Oh. Winston can comment here, but I don't, I'm not I'm not. Let me in, Brad. How do I let you in? Hold on. Am I crazy or something? Oh, man. Chad, how do I let you in here? Oops. That's not how. What is happening? Nope, that's not what we want. How do I let Chad in? Oh man, technology. Uh, 
Oh, here he is. Got him. And here he is, ladies and gents. Mary Beth Hilton, shout out. What's up, girl? Ah, there he is. What? Man, I can't hear you. This shit happens on. I hear you now. I can oh. hear you. Wait, I, I can hear you. What, what are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> Not much. <laughs> What's up, oh, man? man? What's up, buddy? Dude, ain't seen your face in a while, man. Oh, no I know. Yeah. It's been a bit. What's up, girl? Yeah, yeah, say hey. She, I just got home. She's like, what are you doing? Oh, it's been a long day, I bet. <laughs> yeah, she was passed out. Have you opened <laughs> your box yet? No, it's at my sister's. Uh, I, haven't been, I haven't been to my sister's yet. I had them ship it there because obviously I didn't know where I was living. So now that I'm in Lexington with a roommate, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to figure out my life. So, uh, yeah, it's at my sister's. But I, I don't know. I mean, obviously – I won't have nearly as many competition stuff as you will. <laughs> I'll share. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, let's see it, dude. Is it? All right. Let's see what we got here, folks. You got it ready? Let's do it. Let's see what we got. This thing's heavy, dude. I came back, and all of a sudden, I got this massive box here waiting. I'm going to cut her open. <sighs> Haven't seen one of these in a long time. It's real nice. <laughs> yeah, we're used to those plastic green ones. She's the plastic I was going to order one just for so much. Oh. Which reminds me, dude, Sam has resurfaced. Is she alive? Yeah, so I have her number. Uh, yeah? She hasn't responded yet. I. <laughs> She's probably I, at camp, dude. She's probably at her, camp. I know. I sent her a she text. She have service there. I sent her a text this morning. She has no, ser no service from the Sugar Shack. There's no Absolutely. service in the Sugar Shack. No service in the Sugar Shack. Yeah. Oh, I sent her a text. I was like, why didn't you use the power app? No, I'm just kidding. I had to just like call oh. and to catch up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> I got to get my clothes off for this one. Oh, dude, that was the best, man. Oh. I, I loved watching that. <clears throat> That's awesome. I, pump this I mean, pump this guy up. <laughs> oh, yeah. right on. All right, let's see what else we got in here for love. Oh, these are my all gold shoes that go with that bad boy. Dude. So, so if you see me walking around town with a mustache on asking people with questions, that's me. Dude, is that are those Yeezys, bro? Uh, these I feel like those are Yeezys. Look at look at this, dude. You got like a little cougar. He's like a little golden Oh, yeah. Cougar. Dude, Casey had Casey had like some same uh, thing. It was like they were all black for the pinwheel outfit. Yeah, yeah but they had like a yeah, cougar or a lion or something. They weren't gold, you know. Like, yeah, that's true. I mean, I don't know. You know, Oh, I must say, my perfect, most favorite golden <laughs> power, Odino! Defense wins Get championships. Some. Oh, that was the only competition uh, I won, but the only one that mattered. No, it was great. Look at this. Look, that's what they tried to pin on me. They tried to what pin it like I was bearing a Zingbot there. <laughs> that doesn't even look, look at those skinny arms. That doesn't even look like me. <laughs> Who is that? It's like a dude. How did they oh, the Photoshop? It's great, a Photoshop that's, right there. That's that's Photoshop. That's the real Solid. Photoshop. Oh, let's see what else we got in here. So, like, I know considering my background, I should have won all those hacker comps. Right. <laughs> but hey, you know what? If I if I had one, you guys wouldn't have gotten yourself Analux. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, legit. Oh, this is sick. I miss arguably, this. Movie. Arguably the greatest memory from Big Brother 20. Oh, no. Uh, there, is, there is literally a group out there. I'm in a group, and they're analyzers. called the Anal Lysers. <laughs> Those guys are crazy, but I love them. I love it. Dude, there's another one named Brett's Balls. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there is uh, there's one called... Uh, Casey's cult that I got invited in. There's oh right one on called uh, um, golly. There's a few inappropriate that I can't really say. <laughs> you won't. You won't. But uh, <laughs> there, there's the group texts are are ridiculous, man. Uh, those are those are my favorite. So I'm gonna have to show you guys the saddest day in history, and these are the pants from the veto. The grease, you know. Don't bring them out. Throw them away. These are, these are the Dude, pants. 
God, we're gonna burn these. So next time, mad. next time I'm live, we're gonna burn these. Dude, I was so pissed. I was telling somebody that story the other day. Because, I should have won that. But you, you haven't got to see that. Have you watched any of it yet? Have you got to watch any of it back? I literally haven't watched one of these. Okay, either. well, that whole episode, <laughs> they don't show the bit where you, you, you almost won it, but didn't understand to go back and hit for more time. And like, yeah. they didn't show any of that really. They just kind of like, you just got beat. Like they, they didn't even acknowledge the fact. Oh, and I was just like, I was so mad. But because of that, I was still like, I was mad. Number one, that you didn't ask questions. I was mad that like, we could have won that, won the veto, saved yourself, thrown somebody else up against me. We would have, we would have stayed that way. Things. What I put you my girlfriend, Winston, I didn't yeah. have to ask enough questions. <laughs> I was so mad at you, dude. I was so pissed. We're going to have to call Sam soon because she ever needs me to pick up some roadkill for her. <laughs> we, got, we got this bad boy. Oh, I'll look nice in this. Yeah, that's real real nice. Like, <laughs> I've got to pick up some roadkill for you. <laughs> oh, these boots. I was stomping the yard in these. These are fun. This is what I ate it during the hide and go veto. Oh my oh, god. Oh, that was I when slipped, you I slipped so hard. Oh man, that hurt. Yeah. Dude, Scotty was pouring milk. Scotty, everywhere. that sneaky, sneaky guy, dude. Sneaky, sneaky Scotty. All right, what else we got in here? I don't even know what this is. What? I don't I don't know what this is. This is a reserve for me. And then a reality rally.com. I don't know what that means. There's a lot of reading. I'll read that later. Yeah. <laughs> Did they yeah, get your key? Me. Oh, of course. My sweater that JC had to ruin and uh, take off all the. I lost all the letters to the sweater because of JC. Just want to say that sucks. Thanks to JC for that. It's Although okay. that it's was okay. really funny when JC had it on and it said, he, "I'm he, angry." I know. Uh, I know. He, he wore it better. JC, you know what? If you did a comparison of who wore it better, I would say JC wore it better. I'm gonna mail this one to him. I know he loved he loved this sweater. He loved this one. Oh, these are my these are my gold paints. Oh, oh, you're River Dan. So good at gold pants. I don't think so. River Dan. Oh man. Oh, we got some love on that one. Wow, lots of. Oh my God, I don't know what that symbol was. Yeah, I don't know how that even. I I don't know how to calculate that. Can anybody explain what the hearts mean on the side? Like when you hit. Like, I don't even really know what that does. No. Oh, Winston. Look at this. We got a little vitamin Winston here. Oh. Winston PM, vitamin Steve. <laughs> well, just in case I need to fall asleep tonight. You know what I mean? <laughs> Take it out of that. Oh. Vitamin Steve. Zing Force. Pack the oh. heat here. Check out this bad boy. That's pretty sick. Oh, what? Sorry, dude. We had a good roll. What'd you say? Uh, I was talking to my roommate. Bro, check this out. Did you get one of these? This is this is the beefcake. Have dude, to get that that's bed awesome. Water. I don't know. I don't know what's in my box. I hope I got, like, the Twinston thing. That's awesome. Prepare to meet your that's kid. That's awesome. The beefcake. That's hilarious. Dude, they only priced me at $2.99. That's the only stuff. Listen, you're way more than that. I'm like a fine wine, wine, okay? Most can't afford me, but those that can really love it. Did did you guys? Did you guys win? I feel like you guys were crushing, dude. That's granny there. Yeah, dude, that's awesome. I hope I. I don't know. I I don't know what all's in my box because I haven't been home yet. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. Let's see what else we got here. Oh boy, the granny shorts. Oh. Solid. They literally made me put these on and they were ripping. I was like, I can't wear these, dude. I can't I wear these. I, I don't remember. I was going to say, I don't even really remember you wearing those. It's all right. Don't. You don't want it. I don't want it. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Oh, man. I did look sick in this. You can just call me Clark Kent right now. <laughs> I'm going to be wearing this around town tomorrow, so I'm just going to walk around the city in this, get a nice cape. Maybe we'll wear this for Halloween. Oh, no. should, we, should we take them or do we just wait? Do we wait we, for the reveal of what we're wearing? We, do, we don't tell them what we're doing because we the don't reveal, tell them what we're doing? dude, uh, let me just well, say, y'all, even more? 
Halloween, Brett and I are going to be together. And let me just say, we will blow Halloween out of the water. You guys are going to be. Oh, it's going to be a whole other level. Uh, I mean, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's going to explode. It's going to explode. I don't even know how to explain it. It's going to be so good. But, dude, I literally thought of that, and I was like, I have to send you a picture. Like, because I know, and you got to. You guys are really fake <laughs> hair out. What was that from? What was the glove? This is from uh, the Goober Vito. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was the puzzle pieces. Yeah. That was when Rachel and I were on the block. I think yeah, I think was... so. Yeah, sorry, Rachel. <laughs> cool story. <laughs> cool. cool story, Rachel. Cool story, Rachel. <laughs> Oh man, what do we, what is this? There's so much secretive stuff in here, man. Like everything. Oh, look at that. This one. This is our little. Photo. Oh, they gave you the cast book. Yeah. yeah. See nice. how much fun we had that day. We were all. We had so much yeah. fun. That was that was a funny day. That was uh, it was a weird day because I found out weird. a handful of people were lying to me. Um, uh, <laughs> Yeah, story of my life. That was like day two or three, man. That was like when we figured out who was actually going to play with us and who wasn't. That sounds weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you're right. But you're totally right. Oh, man. We got, oh, this is the charger so I can pump that bad boy up. I wonder, I wonder if the batteries are good. Maybe I should pump it up right Dude, now. Dude, yeah. Uh, that, that outfit was so funny because. Like I, my favorite Halloween I ever had in high school, actually, I think I worked for homecoming week, but I had the one where it was like the fake horse. Like I, like I had fake legs that hung yeah, on yeah, with the yeah. blow up. Dude, uh, that was the funnest day of school I've ever had in my life. Like I wore it to class. They let you? Yeah. Yeah. It was homecoming week. No oh, rules. I love that. I absolutely love it. I got a bunch of. I got a bunch of bow ties. If anyone needs an extra bow tie. When did you guys write bow ties? I don't remember that. Um, one was for the goober, and then I broke I broke it. So they gave me a second bow tie. So one of these is broke. Oh, that's, uh, this one's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Oh, my. Like a roach. oh, look at this. I bet you my arms look piping in this bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is just... Oh, dude, I, didn't, I didn't tell you that. So the veto you finally won. Like when you won that veto, uh, the online there was finally like I was finally just like let's go, let's go. My boy finally won a comp, and but you you wore the veto necklace and you wore it around the house and I loved it because you didn't take it off and there were screenshots going around of you like smirking with the veto on your neck. It was Are you fantastic. looking at me? Because I'm looking at me. I'm wearing a veto. If you're not looking at me, you should be looking at me. <laughs> All gold, baby. It was hilarious, dude. That was a great At one point in time, I think I was in the hot tub alone wearing it. I was literally just sitting. I think I saw a screenshot was, of that. You had it oh on. God, yeah, I just almost broke this. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, don't break that. That's, that's yeah. That's, 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 there's like, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of writing. There's a lot of reading in here. Oh, what is this? This seems nice. From, oh, sick! What is this? Who sent me this? The tithe. What the? I don't know where this came from. Wait, is that the shirt? It's an Alabama shirt. It says Tide Twenty Six Dogs Twenty Three National Champions. This is. I don't know where this came from, but thank you whoever oh. sent it. It's. I guess from Mike Taylor, Roll Tide, brother. That's awesome. I, I don't know where. I guess CBS gave it to me. That's cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Roll Tide. Oh, oh, dude, can we just take a minute to talk about – let's talk about this shirt. So this was that pie in the sky. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got smacked down and covered in goo. I kind of wanted uh, to ask you about that because so, I feel like – did you drop a little early there? Oh, dude, well, I'll tell you exactly I mean, I know it was a tough comp. I know it was tougher than it looked. Dude, hold, the holding on wasn't the hard part. What you got to realize, I, I don't even remember what day that was. It was like like day 60 or 70-something. And I was so nauseous. 
I still do. I still can't even ride in Ubers. Every time I get an Uber, I'm so car sick because I'm not ri used to riding in a vehicle that I'm ready to, dude, I was, I was fully prepared. I crushed like five coffees right before. I was like, this is going to be all mental all day. I'm crushing walnuts, good fats, all caffeinated. I was like, you know what? I need some protein. I crushed a full protein shake and they're like, all right, it's time to go. Dude, I, my belly is so full. I was like, I'm going to spew chocolate and coffee everywhere. Casey, on Casey television. yeah, during that comp. Dude, I, I know. But I, dude, I've never been so close. Oh, it was bad. It was, I, dude, and I had a full belly. It wasn't going to be like a little like, like yeah. it was going to be like. <laughs> uh, which you kind of would have. It and would I, was just, I was going to puke all over myself. I was prepared for it. I was prepared. That was, that was rough. Like that was, that was so, so, so bad, dude. That was rough. Let me see if I can find the cord. I might even blow this bad boy up right now. Get it going. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to read some of these questions if anybody yeah, had yeah, there were a ton questions. there were a ton that were gone and then I felt bad. I was like, sorry guys, we got on our own little talk there. Uh, hit us with some questions and we'll get it going. Uh, I'm just seeing uh, oh JC's on here. <laughs> <laughs> JC <laughs> uh, dude. Uh, what did he say? Hey, he, just a bunch of emojis. I couldn't even read it. Uh, Brett, are you still friends with Rockstar? <laughs> What's up, girl? <laughs> yeah, we're homies. We, no, uh, we, made, we made peace in the jury house. Rockstar and I are cool. Yeah. It says, bro, oh. amazing race. Oh, what? she's on. It's on. Oh, did you get it going? Blow it up. Oh, uh, hold on here. Yeah, no, me and Rockstar are cool. We made peace in the jury house. She's an awesome girl. I was, you got, you What's got up, Kylie? Like, man, it's, it's nothing but game in there. Like, yeah. it's, it's do or die, but at the end of the day, we're all just... Well, right, and cool. I think People I think the fans are starting to understand that. I mean, I feel like most of the cast postseason has like put aside the BS, and we've you know all moved on. So <laughs> I think hopefully they can understand that. Um, oh, man. Dude, when I was when I was trying to put the bad boy on in the show, it was taking forever, and JC kept like kept chucking the. We had these like. It was like one of the things that Sam made. It was like these socks full of sand that we could like throw. And like used for cornhole and Jesus. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Happened. Yeah. Hold on. Ooh. Oh. oh man. I honestly though, this? I wish it was the I wish it was the big giant poop emoji, the big shit emoji. Let's be honest. I know. We. Yeah. Really uh, when are, they're saying when are we gonna meet up? Okay, so we are going to get together. We're going to Canada on October twenty fifth. We're doing a couple of uh, bars there, and then after Canada, I'm struggling. I'm going to Boston. Uh, we're gonna try to do a meet and greet in Boston as well. We'll keep you guys posted. Me and Brett are gonna get together. We're gonna Very soon. Halloween. We're gonna blow Halloween out of the water. So Boston Halloween, look out! Your boys are gonna be taking on the city, and it is going to be a sight to see. So stay tuned. Uh, it's gonna be some fun. It's not blowing up very well, dude. It's like deflated. It takes a while. Yeah, it's a lot of the. You're a half salute, bro. We're almost at half max. It's <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> one emoji. I don't see any of your head. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me just I don't think I remember the heart being on the back. What the? Hell? What is that about? <laughs> oh, you like that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Oh shit. Dude, you know you need to hit the uh, hit the what do they call it the floss move, man? I need to you, you need to hit that in that. There we go. <laughs> Give it a floppy fish. Give it a floppy Dude. fish. Oh, well. Can you do it in it? <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm sweating a lot in this thing. It's hot. We're almost getting there. Dude, what you don't realize if you want it if you want it to be fully erect. <laughs> It's actually hilarious, dude. I'm not if you want it to be awesome fully erect, you have to have perfect posture the whole time. Right. I was standing for like, I was like, oh, my shoulders were bur burning. Burning. Well, here, put your arms down. What does it look like? You look at the kid in a Christmas story uh, with all the coats on. I can't put my arms down. 
Put it in. I have a big head and little arms. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I might faint if I wear this any longer. It's a little hot. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. All right, let's get some questions. Let's do for, questions. For El Cockroach here. He was in. He was opening up his box for anybody who's just now joining. Um, when we all be in Lexington together? Hopefully, uh, he's going to come to Kentucky at some point. But as I just said a minute ago, plan is first we're going to Canada, then we're going to Boston, and yeah. um, we'll figure it out. Yeah, so right now, guys, we're going to be in Canada 25th and 26th. 25th and 26th, I believe. 25th yeah. and 26th. And then Winston's flying back to Boston with me that Saturday. Yeah, that's Saturday. It's the 27th. Or, 20, or maybe Friday. Are we flying back Friday? No, I think it's the events are Thursday night and Friday night, and then Saturday we fly out, Saturday morning, I think. And then we'll be in Boston. And then, <clears throat> I don't know, we're going to try and get something booked in Boston. And then yeah. Kentucky, which week are we trying to do Kentucky? Or are we doing a week? I don't remember. Well, you got, that, you got that thing. The first yeah, yeah, yeah. Week. So then, we'll talk. Uh, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna try we'll to. Figure, it, it, it'll be out there, guys. We're gonna be promise. everywhere. We're gonna I've be been, everywhere. I've been a little busy. Okay, I just got out of the house. I was just trying to find myself again. <laughs> uh, aren't we all still? You know, I'm just always trying to find myself. Oh, I'm looking for a lion tamer as well. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Or, or a tranquilizer. <laughs> Right in the jugular. <laughs> I like you, man. I like you, man, but you're crazy. That's awesome. He took one in the jugular, man. <laughs> All right, let's All get right. some questions here. Let's get some oh, questions. Oh, Brett Winston. I love that account. Whatever it is, it's, uh, I don't know what they said, something about New York. Dude, we should go to New York. I love it. Dude, I'm in. I love New York City. Let's so... get some questions. Yeah, we're going to Edmonton. We're going to Calgary. Uh, We're going to Ranch Roadhouse and Cowboys. I forget. I'm sorry. (laughs) We're going to Calgary and we're going to Edmonton. We're going to Canada. I don't know. We're going to. We're going international. The bros go international, but we're still in North America. (laughs) America. America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody just wrote in veto. Who writes in just says veto? Yeah. I love it. Give us some give us some questions, y'all. Has it been uh, uh, hello, hello, Elizabeth. Please come to Toronto. That'd be dope. Ooh, Toronto would be fun. It would be dope. Uh, when will you guys I'm in Boston right now. <laughs> Can Brett <Yeah>. Reed? <laughs> Debatable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Only emotions. I'm not gonna answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Uh, Lindsay, get off of here. That was my sister right in. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, we are trying to go to a Pats game. That's going to happen. Yes, for sure. Actually, so I looked at the schedule, and I think the Pats play the Packers um, at home. It's the week after. It's like two weeks from now. Hi, but Brad, the I thing miss, is, miss you the, too, Mom. Love you. What would you say? Sorry. <laughs> I uh, no, I don't know. The, the past play the Packers at home. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Hell of a game. See, hell of a game. Can I help you study for your pre-cal? Go study. Dude, pre-cal? <laughs> yeah, listen, you- let me just be honest. That is some terrible stuff. Like, I took pre-cal, didn't say cal. I was in cal for one day, and the dude was doing the problems and erasing him with his left hand. He had a dry erase marker, was doing the problem here and erasing it as he was going. Dropped the class the next day. So, that's not my forte, y'all. From Chicago. That's my thing. That's my kind of thing. I'm, I'm more of a math guy. Yeah, you know. I'm not. Where's the somebody just said? Where's the Brad and Chad cooking show? Where's the Brad and Chad? Winston in the kitchen. Dave McGregor's. Yeah. Oh man. Stay tuned. Ty, type of guy that's gonna make you breakfast. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a world class. Is the Hagger hoodie that's for sure. sale? Uh, oh, it's sentimental, but I could, I might say, yeah, I could. Analyze Roll Tide. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what up, Caitlin Fisher? Thanks for 
hopping on. Love and support. Love and support. <laughs> Somebody said, yo, Brett, how much do you bench? <laughs> Uh, well, so hundred pound chick, hundred pound chick. <laughs> so right so about two hundred pounds. <laughs> oh, that was an aggressive question. Yep, uh, yeah, I saw that. I am not. I, I'm not it's a trick question every time. They ask me in the house all the time. Trick yeah. question. Don't answer nope. it. Not going down that road. Sorry. You guys talked to Sam, yes. Um, actually, I haven't talked to Sam since being out of the house. Yeah. I know that <laughs> Sam went to her camp, so she doesn't get reception there. But I yeah. do plan on talking to Sam soon. I do miss her. She's awesome. Um, let's see. Have you ever been thrown Have out, you ever of, been thrown out of a bar kicking and screaming? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I've ever walked That's... out any other way. <laughs> uh... Is Kevin your dad? Somebody said what? <laughs> I just wonder, like, what kind of ages? Oh, man. Uh, were you in a fraternity? Okay, so here's a good one. Actually, I was not in a fraternity, you guys. <laughs> Your boy Brad here was <laughs> most definitely in a fraternity. I don't know if he's able to say. If you guys do enough research, you'll find out very quickly and easily yeah. whether I was or wasn't. I'm not going to touch that question. Uh, Winston and Brad, love the love. God, you guys, so much love. You guys, actually, love. I, love I haven't it, had man. a chance to say, like, thank you guys so so, so much real. all season. I'm be honest, like, you have no clue when you're in the house what anyone thinks of you. Oh, like, for sure. Like, e even a little bit. Um, it's, it's so nerve-wracking. And, like, so, for instance, me coming out of the house and being runner-up for America's Favorite Player, I, I, that, like, blew my mind. Like, I thought everyone hated me. Like, yeah. really, when you're in the house, you have no idea what anyone thinks of you, how you're being depicted, or what people think of you. So I really did want to just take a moment right now to say thank you guys so much. Um, it's been a bit of an adjustment coming out of the house, so I did see that question. Yes, it's it's weird. Guys, like, when people come up to you and start talking, like, quoting, literally quoting intimate conversations I had with people in the house where it's, it was just us, too. And people are quoting those conversations. That's, that's the surreal part right there, man. That it's, is it. And, like, it, obviously you're always aware of it, but it's like, well, how do you know that conversation? Right. I didn't tell you that. Um, right. So it, it is. It is a bit of an adjustment. It is a, it's been absolutely overwhelming, but very exciting. Uh, talk about when you broke the door. <laughs> when I broke the door. Dude, that was oh, great. Man, that, was probably, that was great. That was probably top three favorite moments oh, in the house hilarious. when I broke the door. So, oh, man. Like, do you remember? I mean, because I almost swung. I, I, it could have been me, and I was literally like, Yo, I'm right here. Come on up. You walked up. Uh, and I was like, you do it. Get Rachel. Act like you hear something. And I was just smashed. so jacked up to get oh, Rachel with this prank. Like, I was so excited. And it was even better because I got Tyler, too. I think oh, they both yeah. shit their pants. I was like, who are you? I don't know what all everybody's seen because especially that first week, there were so many pranks done by Brett and I in the first week of the house. That I think my I'm kind favorite, of upset none of them were, no. Hands down, favorite one, I don't know if it made any of the show or anything, scaring JC in the storage room. No, dude, listen. So <laughs> nobody knows about that. Brett, it was the funniest. It was literally JC, the funniest shit I've ever seen in my entire JC, life. JC, literally, I'm like hiding Bro, in the cabinet. Bro, and and I, I jump out. JC literally goes, oh, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I want everybody to know oh, that's he's not nice. exaggerating. Oh, my God. He's not exaggerating. He literally, he, JC froze, like, he was shirtless. And so it was even funnier because you could see his whole body I, go into, like, rigor mortis. Like, he just pure froze. Terror. And he just goes, Pure yeah. terror. I've never seen someone so scared that their hands go like this. He, he went palms up. He literally goes, oh, oh. <laughs> I seriously <laughs> cried. I cried. Oh, my gosh. I cried. But it's, oh, it's floating oh. around the internet, but it didn't make any episodes. But you remember scaring, who was it? Was it Casey and Angela? Because they screamed so loud that I thought we might get in trouble. Uh, I, was in, I think you brought them in. I was in the storage unit that time, and I was down We got the, a lot yeah. of people. Remember Man, the mashed we got potatoes? a lot of people. Remember the mashed potatoes, like night two? <laughs> yes, I remember the mashed potatoes night two. So I'm just hanging out thinking me and Chad are boys, you know, like we prank other people. We don't prank each other. Like we're teammates and, yeah, uh, and we, we, we have our first family dinner. <laughs> 
And Chad is so excited to feed me these mashed potatoes. And I was like, wow, this guy's a really nice guy. Like, he's a really, really nice guy. And he's like, you, you want me to salt and pepper him, man? Like, I'll salt and pepper him for you. I'm sitting there, I'm like, all right, man, like, I get it. Like, it's cool. Like, you chill. But like, all right, if you really want, if you were like, I get it, you're excited. And I'm like, sitting there, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to take a bite of these mashed potatoes. I'm like, Man, these are some jacked up mashed potatoes, dude. I was like, these you are took jacked. two bites. That was the best part. Was you well, took first, one bite, and then you were like, <laughs> and then you dude, looked at me like, what? I was like, who the fuck made these mashed potatoes, dude? Uh, well, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking, and they're really sweet, like really sweet. Yeah, I'm like, it's icy. oh, like maybe they're like marshmallow mashed potatoes. Like, you know, like sweet potatoes, like marshmallow. Like sweet potatoes. I get it. I, I can see that. So, and, I'm, and you're just like, it's day two. Like, you're trying to be so nice to everyone. And like, I'll give them one more try. Like, I'm going to keep trying because everyone's watching. Everyone, and everyone's watching me eat these Everyone potatoes. Everyone was watching. Now, I, I know them. why. Yeah. But at the time, I was like, why is everyone watching me eat these potatoes? Now, the funniest potatoes? part, the funniest part, though, <laughs> Scotty asked for some, and I thought he actually thought no. they were real mashed potatoes. So I didn't want to, I didn't want to serve him any. And I looked at Scotty, and I'm like, like I'm not giving you any, but I didn't want to be a jerk because like I didn't know Scotty as well. I was also just like, like these are just for Brett. Like, but I didn't want to sound like, like it was so funny there. But and I didn't want Scotty oh my knew, God, dude. Yeah, it and was he hilarious. wants some, and then I take the second bite. I was like, all right, what the hell are these? These are not mashed potatoes. And what, what was it? Was it frosting? With, it was with frosting it? from Rockstar's uh, birthday cake. And yes, it was their actual birthday cake. <laughs> yes, their cake. actual birthday cake. Because when we first, what, what was it? Day, day one was it her birthday? Day two, it was her two birthday that day? I don't know. Yeah, two or three. And that's where we had, the, we had the fake party. And we were wearing, yeah. we were wearing yeah. the girls' weaves. Yeah, we literally, oh, we put in, I put in Angel's weave. He put in Rachel's weave. We had glasses on. We were running around the house. This is 48 hours in, and I realized me and Brett have made a huge mistake because everyone hated us from that moment on. We were obnoxious. Yeah. We, Brad and Chad was born. Man, Brad I didn't know Omega what was I was doing. It was solidified. It was done. I was, we were officially the bros from there on board. Had no clue done. that that was probably the worst game move in the history of game moves. Man, I was just making yeah, shit it. up as I went. I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, my God. What do we got for questions here? Brett, remember, on my daughter's birthday, yes, how could I ever forget? Uh, I don't think he realized how big that was, though, and Brett still doesn't understand. Like, he does, but he doesn't. Y'all, it was such a big thing from the season that, like, every little thing like that that you guys – it's like a staple. Brett still doesn't know. Like, he's only been out a couple of weeks here. So he's still – so let him know, like, what was your favorites, what was your – no, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like that, I remember telling you, I think, on stage about that moment because I was like, dude, that, that is a national game. Dude, that was like the most relieving moment. I see when yeah. Timmy just grabbed and was like, dude, everything's okay. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. all good. <laughs> yeah. it's yeah. Awesome. It's all good. We're, we're going to party. Uh, did I burn the fish in the oven? Oh, yeah, yes. I forgot. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't fish. It was bacon. So yeah. I was, well, wasn't it the coffee you know grounds what, from the beat? Which Wasn't it like the, the coffee grounds from the veto comp where somebody had th like tried to cover it yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Angela and they were left hit in her there. hide and go veto yeah. on the bottom, and it was covered in yeah. coffee grounds. That wasn't that wasn't why it burned. So it was like the first time I used broil, and I was like, I'm just gonna crank it on, get some yeah. bacon, kind of smother it, some like maple syrup, some like honey, some brown sugar, you know, get it real nice and sweet. Yeah, and I leave it. I don't even remember what I was doing. And it was full blown guns blazing fire, <laughs> like yeah. that, like yeah. like I mean, in four minutes, it was insane. Yeah. Um, and and I was like ready to go, and I like grabbed fire extinguisher, and I was like, oh, this is all too familiar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember you saying like, like, oh, I don't want everybody to know how I know how to use one. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, man, am I really gonna be the guy that lights off this fire extinguisher in the house? And then Sam came in hot and was like, move it, boy. And I was like, Sam right, was coming in, man. That one. She, she was ready. She knows. She knows oh, that crap. She's, she's, she's handy. She's, she's, she's a smart girl. Is smart. there anything Sam doesn't know how to do? That's the better question. Real talk. Honestly, dude, I, every time I ever talked about anything, she knew some, something more than I did. She always had something to add. Smart girl.
Very smart girl. All right, let's do some more. You're one of the same. Brett, you could have been to tall tell at your point. Brett, what could have you – I think that was asking about you, you asking Tyler about going after the girls. He was just at, wanting to know your reasoning there, I guess. Dude, honestly, man, and the, you just get to a point where you have to start making tough decisions. I thought that was the best decision at that time. Um, I knew I was the lowest man on the totem pole. Like, yep. I came to win the game. I didn't come to finish in fourth. I knew I was getting up fourth. Lucky if I made third. So I was like, you know what, man? I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. I know if I make this move, I'm either going to be the next person out or I'm going to final two. I was right. like, I, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, I'd love to have made right. fourth instead of sixth, but – I'm, I'm going to throw those dice every single time. If, if it's, right. you know, between fourth or six or possibly going final two, I'm going final two, dude. I mean, that's, yeah. and honestly, the jury house was sick. <laughs> I mean, I don't believe you there. I'm sure. You know, I mean, it's. Another one asked about our Jenga games with Steve the commentating. Dude, dude I, that... honestly, after you left, I stopped playing Jenga other other than this one very awkward time after I claimed Scotty's vote. Yeah. Oh, Scotty yeah. and I sat in the Jenga room maybe an hour and a half alone. So I literally, I claimed the vote. It was me. Scotty's like, what? And I was like, yeah, I'm out. Have a nice night, guys. Bye. And I like walked downstairs and I just go hide in the Jenga room. Uh, it's on, it is, it is so uncomfortable in the house at that moment. Like your yeah, blood you boiling. Cut the you can cut, yeah, it, it, was, it was so uncomfortable. And so I go sit in the Jenga room, and Scotty's heated, man. Like, he's, like, pacing around the house. <laughs> but the thing is, is, like, when things were awkward, it was always Scotty and I who would hang out. Because we were right. the only two that would we would make, like, I don't know. It was just kind of like we would ease the tension. But the problem was, right. is it was me and Scotty who were arguing at the time. Right. So he comes in, and he doesn't even know what to do. He's like, what are you doing? And I was like playing Jenga, like making art with Jenga. And he's like, cool, can I watch? And I was like, yeah. And we literally he, sat there in silence. In silence. Because I was like, I was, and at that point in time, we're like, it's like a battle. You're like, who's going to leave first? Yeah. Oh, man. It's it's like, who is the alpha? Who is going to win the battle of all time? I will sit here in dead silent awkwardness for as long as I have to. I will win this mental warfare any day of the week, baby. Yeah, so that, I'm that, sitting there, Scott. He's, just, he's like, he's like beside himself. In that house, man. Golly. I don't, uh, I don't. What was the coolest competition? Um, ooh, uh, I don't know. Oh, dude, honestly, hiding go veto. Obviously, I won. I think that was the coolest competition. It was pretty cool. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, that that was fun. Defense wins national championships, baby. But, I, dude, the uh, the sweet shot one, the Angela one, with the, pit, with, cool. the, with the pits of balls, that was just fun because it was just like, you were just like a kid in a candy store, yeah. like running around, jumping in the pinballs. At the end, yeah. we all like, oh, people's elbow. Like, yeah, JC, everybody was like, attack JC. And we all jumped on JC in the, pin, in the pinball pit. That was a lot of fun because we got to, like, play around after. Yeah. Um, yeah. How was cleaning up after the hide and go veto? How dude, I play? thought Sam was gonna have a heart attack. I know. I, I, I thought we all did. America up. thought so. I thought she was gonna have a mental breakdown. Like, yeah. I was like, oh, dude. There's boy. a video out there of Fessy sweeping a mop, like using a mop, and he does it. It's not even touching the ground. It's the funniest video I've ever seen in my life. Oh yeah, it's just <laughs> he's just like. Like barely, and I know it was right after that competition because there was so much, uh, so much going on of not cleaning. Like people, I knew yeah. that at that moment there would be lines drawn with Sam because she would see who was cleaning, who was it that she was gonna pick off next week. I loved it. I mean, so, uh, yeah, and no, dude. Like at the same point, I mean, yeah, like, but she was she was rational. Where like she like there was times where people would literally clean because they're on the block, and that's it. And then, true. so, like, she was very aware of, like, this is someone who cleans all season, or this is the first time I've ever seen this person do a dish, and it's because they're right. on the block. She was very aware of that. And that's, like, that was always the funniest thing in the house. Um, let's see. Any, uh, <laughs> man, you guys are ruthless. <laughs> I know. Some of these I, I can't. Caleb, get off here. <laughs> Uh, By the way, did, did the, yeah, I, hang on. 
Well, we'll talk later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, who did and didn't clean? Oh, man. Well, who did and didn't clean? Uh, <laughs> let me think. Well, I cleaned. So, honestly, to be honest, like, in the beginning, it was literally Winston and I, Sam and Scotty. And, like, everyone would chip in here and there. But I would say those are probably the four people that, like, cleaned, like, the most. Well, yeah. everyone like, kind of had a weird side a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, some people would always do the dishes. Some people, right. like, like Angela would always sweep the floors. Yeah. Uh, like, Sam would always clean. The, obviously, Sam cleaned everything. Um, but, like, certain people would do certain things. Like, and then there were certain people that would always, like, raise the awnings and stuff. Uh, yeah. Like, there were just certain chores that other people would do that, like, you know, whatever. Uh, uh, come on. I mean, let's see some more questions here. Oh, I see some level 47 members up in here. What else? What, what cologne do you wear? Honestly, I don't even know the name of it. <laughs> oh, I think you just, oh, uh, oh, oh. I think you just have, smell like stale beer all the time, right? Isn't it nat Natty Light? No, no, <laughs> I, I refresh it off and like, it's okay. <laughs> it's real fresh. <laughs> Uh, are you both happy with your game played? No, I mean, dude. There's, there's, I'm there's, not. I'm there's no I've been I mean, I've been pissed off for months. I, I mean, we screwed up day one. I mean, it was yeah. like as soon as we paired up in front of everyone, and we we're like, "Hey, yeah. you know, it's a really good idea. Let's show everyone how many push-ups we can do." <laughs> yeah, that was really smart. Man. Like, do you remember that day? That I'll literally remember the day that we did the rock climbing, and we were like, "Oh yeah, let's just bust it out." And we were like. We're, we're going after it. You, you've got, like, a sleeveless shirt on. I do, too. We're getting after it. And we get done, and Scotty said a comment to us. Like, he said something along the lines of, like, he goes, I could see every <laughs> – he was like, I could see your guys' back muscles <laughs> from the kitchen. And, and I just looked at you, and I was just like, oh, my gosh. Like, yeah. you know, Scotty yeah, was, was going to be like – which, you know, it was a telltale sign right there. But it was just funny because me and you just – being obnoxious like that obviously killed my game. Um, <laughs> but, you know, would I do anything yeah. different? No. Like, come on. Like, it is what it is. Guys, you can strategize so much, but once you're in the house, it's you totally just, different. You, you toss it, man. Like, it, it just depends. Because you're, you're going to want to find commonality. And you, you, the thing that drives you nuts in there, honestly, was only being able to talk to people that you wanted to talk to. So, like, me and Brett got along. Me, Brett, Rachel, and Angela got along at the beginning. And then Level 6 was formed, and it was like, I wanted to talk to those people, so it's hard to distance yourself from those people to hide the alliance. So it, it's just a man; it's tough. You got nothing I mean, else to do. The entire game goes against your natural like mm -hmm. instincts. You know what I mean? Like, like naturally, you're drawn towards people that you like, and you like not even just that you like, but you're naturally drawn towards people that you again commonality, and, and it's just like, oh, like I love hanging out with these people, and it's not that you don't like hanging out with other people. It's just, it's just what happens. It's just like that's how you get drawn into those conversations, and then. All of a sudden, you're like, "Oh shit! I haven't talked to like these five people ever in the house." Right. Like, right. But th but that's natural for people to like. Once you get comfortable, it's natural to always want to be comfortable because it's just like I, this is just the person I talk to, and then we hit it off, and I feel most comfortable with this person because we've talked so much already. And then it's like I'd rather just have another conversation with this person I'm already comfortable with than to start a new one because again, you're like. The right. best, what best advice I can give you is be comfortable being uncomfortable. That's exactly the name of the game. And whoever can bite their tongue. It's not about oh, even yeah. talking. It's about biting your tongue the majority of the season. It's I just go, it's going against everything you, and, and even, like, everything you believe in. Like, I, I never lie to people. I tell people straight up how I feel all the time. Yeah. And then you're, like, you have to go against all your, like, everything that you've trained. Like, all 25 years of my life, I, it's, it's not okay to lie. And then you walk in one day and it's like, all right, it's time to start lying. Like, you're going against all your muscle memory. It's a, it's a lot like turning 21. It's like your entire life you've been told you're not allowed to drink. And then you're actually 21 and you walk up to the bar and you're like, party. Oh, man. oh shit, man. Oh, shit, man. Just get a look at my ID and like, not let me in. I'm actually 21, though. Like, like don't yell at me, man. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's just like going against everything that you've trained your muscle memory all like, your entire right. life. Tough. My bad, man. Or you can come out here and watch some TV or something. You guys should. <laughs> uh, da, uh, hello. Hello from Bam. Um, These are going fast. Yeah, no, I can't read. What kind of rules did you guys have to follow in the house? 
Um, I mean, there was no like rule. You had to be up 10 a.m. Um, lights would come on. You'd be up in the middle of the night with the DR calling you. The it was it was exhausting. Like, and not only that, because mentally you're finally able to rest at night, but your your mind's running through like, what conversations do I need to have tomorrow? What yeah, but ima to... imagine like when you're so, like, yeah, yes, you can lay down at 10, but right. if you're on the block, it all you're thinking of, and it's like every like you're laying there and you're like, are they talking about me? Like, yeah, like I stayed up talking? like three are days they talking about me? four a.m. Like, should I walk in? Like, should I interrupt yeah. it? Or is that too obvious? Like, that's obvious. I shouldn't walk. But should I walk in? Yeah. But are, are they're probably not even talking about me. But should I give them time to talk about but me? Like, respect to, like, give them boundary space? Or, like, or actually, actually, or, no. Maybe like, I smother. Like, I'm going to the bathroom. Oh, I'm going to smother you. I'm going to break down all those walls all the time. No, no, no. I'm going I'm to smother you. Yeah. And it's. And then I'm like, well, I don't want to be annoying. But then again, I kind of want to double check. But that's the game. That's the, mm -hmm. that, that sales, though. Like, that sales right there. It's like, I really don't want to annoy this guy with a fifth phone call. Yeah, but I got to make sure it's locked in. But do, do I call deal. him again? So it's, it's we have a deal. It's a balancing act. <laughs> it is. That's really all it is, man. It is exhausting. I, I mean, I do remember, like, that first night being evicted, like, after my emotions, like, could not calm down. I was so, like, exhausted. And I'm sure you were, too, when you got to the jury house because you could finally, oh. like, breathe and be like, the Dude, game's done. For me, you know, I think I slept for three days straight yeah. when I got to the jury house. Yeah. Like I just passed out, man. You don't realize how tired you are because you get so used to being that tired, and and you're like trying to fall asleep, and the lights are on, and then you're back up, and you're up all night, and you're top stuff, and and you're just you're just so oh. so and like and you're so stressed. I mean, it's just like like for, the best way to relate it for me was like in college. It's like when I knew I had a big exam Ooh. the next day, and all I've been doing is studying, and you try to yeah. lay down to fall asleep the night before. And all you can think about is your exam. That's that's exactly it. All you can think about. But that's because I only started studying the night yeah. before. <laughs> right. Dude, so you remember the night right when I got evicted, like the that night or maybe this night before we kept talking about like, well maybe there's a pre jury battle back like there always is. Or oh yeah. And then like I got out and I was so like obviously I was so mad. Like I know you haven't seen any of this yet, but there was like a meme going around online of me just mad as hell because I, I like I came out and and you know how weird it is. You come out and there's a studio audience. You haven't seen yeah. I hadn't seen another face in thirty days. So oh, I'm yeah. just, you know, wide eyed and stuff. And they go to commercial or whatever, but like I'm like talking to Julie kinda and then we, we come on live and we do this whole thing. And um, the whole time I'm thinking jury battle back, like pre-jury battle back, like, please tell oh, me. Sure. And I'm sitting there and I even asked Julia, I'm like, she's like, so what's going through your head? And I'm like, well, I'm just sitting here waiting for you to tell me I'm going back in at some point or going to have a shot. And she was like, mm, stay tuned. Blah, blah, blah. And I knew like right then, like my heart just fell in my gut. And I was like, my shot is gone. But I remember like getting home. And I'm finally, like, able, like, I have access to look at the feeds. And I'm like, I don't know if I really want to. First time I sign on, it's, like, at night. It's, like, three or four days later. And I hadn't, like, seen much at all. I saw the rock star blow up online. Remember I told you about that? <laughs> I was in my layover. But I get on, and you're in the have-not room. And you're talking to, I think it was Angela, about the possibility of a pre-jury battle back. And you guys were talking through scenarios of, like, me versus Swaggy versus Steve. Like, you guys were talking through, like, who's who's going to leave this week and have to play them. And I was just sitting at home, like, like I'm like, I want to scream into my, like, laptop and tell you, like, no, Listen dude. Like, me. Son, like, stay. Like, stay, stay as long as you possibly can. Like, I was just stay so pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, but I love of God. But I love of God. Stay in school as long as you possibly can. Oh, that is exactly God. it, dude. It was awful. It was a terrible feeling. Dude. Terrible. Yeah. No, I, I believe it. I believe it. Let's see if we got any more questions here. A lot of hearts. Lots of hearts, man. Lots, Lots of hearts. Of Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming, dude. Thanks, I, thanks for the guys, love. You know what, man? Oh. We rule. Oh. You, you guys rule. We rule outside of high school. I should be cut writing my college. Go write your college essay. By the way, guys, this is always a joke when we say this. Please know that we are kind of kidding here, okay? But, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm kidding. No, but we are joking. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just our draft. It started off as a joke. Right Brett made me laugh that first week with the first time he said it. And I, and so now he just says it nonstop, and it's like a thing. Yeah, so. it's my fault. <laughs> 
Uh, Edmonton for the ages, not 18 year old. We'll see what we can do, guys. If not yeah. that weekend, obviously another time. Um, we just got to start getting things booked for sure. We're definitely going to do some day stuff. Absolutely. For people that are under 18 or not yeah. old enough for whatever events, or maybe it's just yeah. too late past your bedtime. Either right. way, right. we're going to do, we're going to do some, day, we're going to do some day meet and greets for sure. Yeah. Brett, everything's your fault. I'm more yeah. than aware. Uh, and, no, that's been my entire life. Trust me. You're not telling me anything new. Uh, oh, 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 man. Let's see. Uh, Let's get going. Let's go. Oh! Um, hearts, 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 hearts. Thanks. Do you guys go back to your regular jobs yet? No. No. <laughs> uh, L uh, no. It hits the term figuring it out. I got yeah. Job interview not... this week. I've had a few feelers out. Uh, yeah, guys. And I've been out of the house for a bit now, so I'm trying to figure out. Uh, and me and Brett have some a few things, you know, coming up. Some exciting stuff. We're going to be traveling and doing some things. So, um, the answer to that is a big fat no right now. Yeah. So that's I, I'm figuring my life out. Stay tuned, though. I'll keep you updated the entire time. I promise. Ooh, man, man, so much love from Canada. You guys are awesome. I'm pumped for Canada. Uh, yeah, uh, very, it's gonna very be cold. Exciting. So I don't think we'll be able to rock our Hawaiian sleeveless, but maybe. Maybe we just get fur jackets over it? <laughs> I don't know. Yes. I, I say just straight up all jean, man. Jean jacket. Just jean jacket, and jeans, jeans on. Jean. Can I get a uh, jean beanie? I want it. I want it all. No, but we're gonna be. Oh, do we wear our Halloween outfits that weekend? Oh, Ooh, that's the weekend, dude. Dude, do we? Do we? Uh, we gotta well, put it together. You got, I'm just saying, guys. You are going to be. It might break the internet. <laughs> I, I, I honest, I confidently say that this, this, this like outfit, like me and you doing this oh. together. Is it, it might it might break the internet? I think it might. I, I think it's going might. to. I think it's going to. Let's see. We got to start piecing that together. Um, that's going to be amazing. All right. Well, it's already like late here, so I have here. more minutes. Yeah, I just feel bad. I'm dominating the living room. My roommate's going to try to watch some TV. No, you yeah. <laughs> uh, Do you like urban? Oh yeah, guys. Also, other thing. Um, I've been getting a ton and a ton of requests for personal videos, um, hit me up on Cameo. I'll, I'll put another post up about that. Uh, it's just it's just easier to organize that way because so many come through and they get, you know, I mean, sometimes they get lost in the DMs and I don't want to miss anyone's birthday for that. Um, what do you think about, so, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm really Dude, you, got, you guys are crazy, but I like I, you. Yeah. Uh, can you please hey. give a hey, Anastasia? Hey, uh, what's, what's up, up girl? Uh, it's both rock. You party. rock. Dina! Hey. Oh, my gosh! Dina! That's my girl, man. Who's Dina? Dina? Dina from Jersey Shore. Did I get to tell you I met her? What? Dude, we're like bros. Dina! Oh, Dina. Oh, I'm listen. We'll, Dude, we'll it was amazing. Uh, we did a uh, like a reality fundraising event down in Florida. Maybe yeah, I told you about. Yeah, so Dina was there. Super cool, um, man. She's just so laid back. Uh, it was so cool. I was like, I told her, I was like, I am dying to just party with you. Like, like we watched <laughs> you. We wanted to, yes. party. but yeah, of course, she was almost due with her baby. Uh, re and so that was like obviously out of the question. No alcohol for her, but we had, oh, so. man, it was it was uh, it was a fun time. Understandably so. That's awesome. Congratulations on your baby. She just said next year. Let's do it. Next, next year. Next year. Next year. Next year. Um, Casey is live now. Oh, all right. Well, do you guys um, favorite? What does it say? Favorite beer? Favorite beer? Is that what it said? Uh, we'll talk about that later. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Man, you guys are crazy. Oh, um, these comments, <laughs> dude. Oh man, this is a challenge, dude. Hey, MTV, holler at your boy.